Hey, you're watching Volgor's videos, and this is one of those videos where I just show you a bunch of games I accumulated over the weekend. Alright, I was going to start out with my Xbox games, but kind of get distracted. I'm going to go the other way around. Um, actually, no, I'm not. Let me try this again, because I'm trying to get it all fit all in 10 minutes. First game I got, let's start off with this game. Rally Sport Challenge 2. Great game. Players 1 to 4, custom soundtracks, in-game, Dolby Digital, System Link 1 to 6, HDTV 40p, cool, um, Xbox Live, all that good stuff. Two bucks, I'm going to say again, I bought it because it's got a super on it, actually, not the only reason why, I also know it's a good game. Those of you that don't know, uh, I, my other channel is going down the tubes, I just basically drive my super out the field and like, rev it, and yeah, 81 Super GL, wagon, it's blue. It's got a wing. Um, so yeah, it's got the book. Which, if it's got the book and I want the game, I'll buy it if it's cheap. Looking at the disc, it looks kind of dirty, but not that bad. Like, it doesn't have any real deep scratches. And it plays just fine, so I'm glad. Alright, next game was Odd, Odd World Strange's Wrath. Which, yes, I, I don't really like going to GameStop, but, you know, if it's a cheap enough game... You know, why not? I mean, I am giving my money to a fascist store, but hey, it's either that or pretty much buy like buy on Amazon and pay four dollars of shipping, which I don't really want to do. The only time I do that is if a game, like a Super Nintendo game, a game you can't really find anywhere else. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, either that or you go to a pawn shop where like every game's like either overpriced, doesn't have the book, or and or it's coated in scratches. No. So anyways, uh, Odd World Strange's Wrath. Nine bucks. Bit more than I want to spend, but hey. It's got the book. And the disc is in great shape. I and mean, there's a few little tiny, like, lint in there. But other than that, it, it's, it's almost perfect shape. Great shape. In case you don't know what that this game's about, you're like a bounty hunter and you put, like, live ammo in your crossbow, like rats and gerbils and bees and spiders and yeah this is one of the one of the few games that actually allows you to use a memory unit odd world inhabitants you need to make another one of your odd world games because they're amazing all right so nine bucks a little more i want to spend but for this game heck yes all right game number three extreme you race association you race cr uh, crotch rockets similar to Connecticut f0 wipeout you know futuristic racing to one of four players Almost got on the PS2, but they didn't have the book for the PS2 version. This one does. Look at the disc. In great shape. Few little tiny scratches on the outside, but nothing major at all. A great shape. I almost switched out the book from the Xbox version and put in the PS2 version, but I'm just thinking that's dumb. I mean, I think the Xbox is a bit better for racing on, on, on some games because uh, you. A lot of games you have custom soundtracks, this one doesn't, but hey, you don't have to buy a multi-tap on the Xbox, and that's, yeah, four bucks, pretty good deal. I got this game and Rally Sport Challenge for free because my friend Cody, we went there and we put our games together in one purchase and we got these two games for free, just buy two, get one free, and uh, yeah, he got Spartan Total War and um, Crimson Skies, which is a really good game. Next game, uh, Colin McRae. Colin McRae, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Rally 2005, Codemasters, five bucks, really good deal, never saw it at a game store before, was looking for it, tracking it down, and that's exactly how, exactly how much it's worth on Amazon. Players want to afford, in-game build digital, system link, Xbox Live, all that good stuff. I bought it to, rate, to, to drive the Subaru, but you have to unlock it, so great. Got the book. Um... The disc is kind of scratched up, but it played just fine. I played for like, oh crap, played for like 40 minutes. So yeah, great deal. We'll still play after dropping it. You didn't really get anything hard. Oh, it's time. All right, I'm doing even better on time this time around. All right, so right when we were going out to the car, uh, my brother goes, oh yeah, I do have money with me, because he was looking at games, but he was sad because he didn't have any money, which... He did, so he went back and got Ratchet Clank on Commando, and this is like the reason he got a PS2. Actually, the reason is because I pressed him. Ha 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 ha. Because I really wanted a PS2. 
Anyways, um, he spent ten bucks for this game. It came out in 2002. And the game, the case sucks because every time you open it, the disc just pops out. So look at the disc, it's okay. It's not as bad as Colin McRae, but it's got a few light scratches. But it played just fine, so, oh well. Yeah, ten bucks, and it didn't even have a book. So, yeah, but I think on Amazon it was ten dollars, so if you bought it on Amazon, it would be fourteen bucks, because, you know, four dollars shipping. And it's, uh... Ratchet Clank is a great series, and I'm just putting off, putting off getting it because, you know, I'm gonna wait for the price to go down. That or when I when I saw it there, I didn't have the money. But yeah, mostly because I was waiting for the price to go down. All right, so um, time check. Five minutes. All right, this time goes really good on time. I'm gonna get a swig of my Sprite. Hmm. All right, so. The next day, I wanted to go to a pawn shop called Money Man. Uh, my favorite pawn shop of all time. I've got a, quite a few games there. I was going to take some old games like Super Metroid and Robocop and Mega Man X and WF Raw and Mortal Kombat 2. Because I already have all these games, but Robocop and WF Wrestling, those two games suck, but... Um, we walked down to, we were going to go there, but it was too late and it was closed. It was closed today. And uh, we walked down to American Family Video in the rain because my friend's controller, you know, average control, this isn't his, but, you know, just an average Xbox controller, was freaking out. Like, every two seconds, a disconnect, or disconnect your controller hit the start button. So we walked down there to see if they had one, and they didn't have one. And we, I noticed they had a bunch of consoles. I asked him, hey, do you take in games? Because poster, you know, yes, we do. How much would you take Super Metroid? I don't know. Uh, let's go see. I uh, looked it up, and... Sorry, it looks like it, is, it was on the list. Really? Oh, that's why, because no matter what game it is, we only give you 15 cents. Really? That's funny, because this game's worth 15, 20 bucks. All right. She says, put it on Craigslist. Yeah, but the thing about Craigslist is you have to have somebody who actually wants to buy it. I mean... Part of the thing about a video game rental store or pawn shop is you're supposed to get money out of it. Not nothing. And 15 cents is nothing. Alright? So then, um, th we, I didn't get anything out of there. Everything was, everything was overpriced. I got Extreme G Race Association for 4 bucks. They had it on the PS2 for like 8 I mean, everything was twice the price. Donkey Kongo was like 15 I mean, ugh. Why would anybody go there? Oh, yeah, because it's Sweet Home, and there's nothing at Sweet Home. Nobody even knows. Um, so then we went back to... We got back to our hometown. I walked, We walked down to Holly Video because every game was 4 bucks, and we're going to see if the sale's still going on. And it was, so I got Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Sadly, no crap, uh, no booklet, and it's got a crappy case when you open it. The disc flies out, but it does work. Looking at it, it's a little scratched up, but it still plays perfectly fine. So, four bucks, money well spent. Because I wanted to get more combat games, but I didn't really want to spend that much on them. Four bucks is just enough. Uh, another game I got was Mortal Kombat Deception. And, you know, four bucks. And these, both these games were ten dollars there. And they're actually worth, well, I think they're worth just ten dollars. So we got exactly what we're, oh. First, I got more common deception in my PS2, but as I remember, that I think it was in pretty good condition. So yeah, I'm not gonna go get it. No book, which sucks. And I wasn't gonna get, I wasn't gonna get Mortal Kombat on the Xbox or PS or GameCube because you have to use the little D-pad, rather the PS2. You know, the D-pad is the main button on it, main directional, you know, function. Then the third game I got, Raiden 3. Check out the time. All right, I'm just in half minutes. All right, rain three. I put it in and it makes this weird noise. Kind of like that. But look, this is the game with the booklet. Doesn't want to play? No. I think it has something to do with the the game being purple. I mean, it's it's in perfect shape. You look at it. 
and there's like no, no scratches whatsoever. I mean, if there is, they're like tiny, tiny little, little scratches that you just get from overuse. I mean, if you look at that, it's like nothing. But purple, I don't understand. Maybe my PS2 is too old and it won't play dual layer discs or purple discs or I don't know. So yeah, would you spend $4 for Rain 3 or any of these games? Spend with the value I spent for. So I'm going to have to take this back and the one game I wanted to get was the Warriors. Because I saw it every time my brother sees the Warriors, he goes, Hey Warriors, come on, come play. And I looked it up, it's got great scores, so I'm going to take this back and get the Warriors. Alright, that was Volgar's videos, and I've got Guitar Hero World Tour unboxing coming out soon. Stay tuned, folks.